welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it comes from a translation of a message that I received. The translation reads like this. Hello, Brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? My brother, if it is even possible, you can take my ID and place it underneath your armpit so that no one can ever know who is giving you this confession. I am a man who is aged 26 years old. My brother, my father has finished us off because of his witchcraft and his occultic ways. My story in details, it goes on like this. I was born in a family of four. In this family, Brother Nashi, I am the one who is the second born. There was my brother, this brother of mine, he used to work in the mines. Then I have some twin brothers as well, who are the last borns in our family. What happened is that my father originally, he comes from this other area in Mashingo. So when my mother was still alive, my father had said that he wanted to go to town so that he can find a job. By town, I mean Mashingo town. When he was working in town, that was when he took my mom and we started staying in town. And after my father had said that he had found a job in Harare, so we were supposed to return back to the villages. My mom refused because she was now used to the life of staying in the city. Then when my father saw that my mom was refusing to go back to the village because she was saying that back in the village there are a lot of witches because of the area where we come from. A lot of people, they know this area, a lot of witches are there. My mom refused. Then my father was forced to sell off his livestock after he had sold off my his livestock. He then said that he had bought and my father then bought another homestead in another area where we are currently staying but the funny thing that happened was that just after my father had sold off his cattle he then bought a bull it was a black bull he came to Mashingo and he collected us when we went there brother Nashi we just slept outside this bull it was not tied to a tree it was not tied to anything, but it never left our side. It was always by our father's side. The next morning, just before sunset, when, when people were not yet walking around, that was when we were approached by this other woman who later became our neighbor. This woman, Brother Nashi, she was wearing a brown skirt. I still remember that day. And when she came, she spoke with my father. It seemed as if they were arguing over something, as if my father was owing this woman. That was when my father came to the place where we were sleeping all along this bull was just following him it was a black big bull it was following him and then my father came to the place where we were sleeping me and my mother my brother and my siblings he told my mom that we were supposed to go and make a circle around that bull after we had made that circle around that bull then my father just called out our names one by one and he said that we were not supposed to answer all that we were supposed to do after calling out your name was to walk towards the head of the bull and place your hand on the head of the bull close to the horns i was really afraid because this was a big bull but he said that it was harmless we did this thing while least that woman was just watching us and she seemed to be very angry and later on brother nashi i then found out as to why she had been so angry because indeed my father was owing this woman after my father had called out our names as we were doing that covenant with that black bull then that woman walked away my father tried to run towards that woman but she said to my father go back to your family go back to your family that is how we started staying in that village we actually had to build one room first you know those houses that we used to build in the villages whereby you just use some mud as well as some poles that is the first round hut that we built from there on my father kept on renovating until my father had purchased a lot of cattle but where my father was getting all of this money we never knew and my father seemed to be very good friends with this woman this woman was my father's age we could say that my father was actually sleeping with this woman but she was quite an old woman my mother then passed away 
after she had accused that old woman of sleeping with her husband who was our father I, that day it was when the sun was setting my father on that day it was when the sun was setting just before sunset my father had said that he was going to fetch some water with his new wheelbarrow when my father had gone to fetch water we then saw that our neighbor's kids were the ones that were actually using that wheelbarrow to collect their buckets of water first before our father had returned back so my mother got so angry she went to that woman's compound brother nashi when she was approaching that woman's compound that old lady came out of her kitchen and she said do not step your feet into my compound then my mother said or what or what i am going to step into your compound what are you going to do with me you prostitute you are busy sleeping with my husband my mother when she stepped her feet into that woman's compound it was like she had been hit by electricity she fell to the ground then with time she had a stroke that is how my mother died you know in the villages medical care is not that good we'll only take her to the clinic and she will just be given some painkillers my mother had a terrible death and we were helped by people from that village to bury my mother after my mother had been buried brother nashi that woman who was our neighbor was the one who would come and cook for us they were really good friends with our father but they never slept together by the time that my mother died we had a lot of cattle but there was something that will always happen late at night me and my brothers we will always look at the watch we had this other watch you know those old watch where you will hang it by the wall in the kitchen we had one of those it was gold in color whenever it will say 10 p.m. outside we'll start to hear some women that will be arguing sometimes these women they'll be laughing as if they'll be gossiping their voices brother nashi they were really terrifying these women they'll be even clapping their hands as they will be busy speaking with each other gossiping sometimes when you would go out you would actually see some shadows then these shadows will run some of these shadows will actually climb up the tree and then a very big bed will just start to fly this bed you know there is this bed that is called a secretary bed those beds brother nashi that is the kind of a bed that we used to see after going out late at night then after a couple of years i can say after 10 years after my mom had passed away that was when my father's livestock started to die one by one one by one whenever the villagers will gather around so that we can divide the meat from that dead cow the thing that always surprised people was that the flesh from this cow it was not red you know like beef is supposed to be red but it was always white like chicken and no trace of blood the village headman even called a veterinary when the veterinary came but the veterinary said he does not even understand what was going on then brother nashi all of my father's livestock just died my father had 20 cattle they all died brother nashi until people said we cannot eat this meat anymore because there is something that is going on that is very wrong otherwise we are going to die some people thought that maybe it was foot and mouth but our cattle they were not giving the symptoms of suffering from foot and mouth all of the livestock just died last year what happened brother nashi was that my brother the firstborn in our family he then got married to his wife so when he got married to his wife as someone who was doing this business of illegally digging up for gold he went as usual and now he had so much pressure because he was a family man when when they were underground that was when my brother saw he was the first one to see this belt of gold because that is how you find gold it will be inside a rock but it will be more like a long line that is why they call it a belt when he saw this belt he called out to his friends and his friends his syndicate that he was digging the gold with they said that they had a voice that spoke this voice it seemed as if there was an invisible person that was standing behind my brother this invisible voice then said so you think that you are going to enjoy 
this gold never never then that voice just disappeared when my brother turned around there was a rock that fell from nowhere and those guys they said that they had made sure that when they were digging up they placed these very strong tree branches so as to hold their shaft together but out of nowhere there was a rock that fell and it fell on top of my brother it was not a very big rock so when this rock fell when my brother fell then his leg got stuck so he was sleeping on his back then there was another rock that fell when this rock fell it landed straight on his stomach they said that everything that is inside a human stomach it was ejected out because of the pressure of that rock that is how my brother died after they heard that strange voice even though they wanted to continue digging they all climbed out of that shaft as long as they could brother nashi there were seven men in their syndicate there were eight and my brother was the eighth one seven of them they all survived after they had exited that mine shaft it all collapsed brother nashi even until this day there was no there is no one who has the courage to dig up that mine shaft even though my brother said that he had seen a belt of gold but because of this thing and the voice that spoke underground, everyone is just scared of going down there. What really pains me, Brother Nash, is that we were unable to bury my own brother. After one week, when my brother had died, that was when we had my father. He was standing on the side of his compound because we have a small barbed wire that divides our compound and our neighbor's compound. It was really late at night, around 10 to 10 or so, when I heard that there was a commotion that was happening outside. I got outside and I saw that my father was busy arguing with our neighbor. And the moment that I said to my father, what is going on? Let us go back inside these two people they said that they were not fighting at all but i heard them insulting each other they were even using terrible words that i can't even tell you brother nashi they were even insulting each other using their private parts but when i arrived at the place where they were standing one on her compound and my father standing on the other side of his compound they were busy insulting each other what then happened brother nashi is that last week that was when we buried my young brother this young brother of mine the twins one is now remaining so he had a sudden death we just heard that he was sick really sick he was working in harare and when he returned back home he could not breathe it was like someone who was suffering from asthma there was this strange sound that was coming out of his chest as if someone had cut open his windpipe like you know when a tire is letting out air that is the same sound that was coming out of his lungs and we were really scared he only survived for one night when he had returned back to the village the next I had gone to visit this other man who had promised me money so i left my wife back home and my young brother he was being taken care of by his own wife throughout the night i was speaking with my young brother's wife and it seemed as if everything was okay it's around somewhere around 5 a.m when i returned back to the compound this was when my young brother's wife was no longer communicating with me when i approached the compound that was when i heard her crying and i immediately knew that something was wrong but as for my father he was just standing in my young brother's bedroom i then asked my young brother's wife what had happened she said that the moment that a father-in-law my father knocked on the door that was when her husband my young brother lost his life and later on after we had buried my brother because he was not taken to the mortuary we buried him on the same day brother nash because he was we were afraid that his body was going to go bad because of something that was happening to his body there was this foul smell that was coming out of his body so the village headman suggested that it was far much better we bury him on that same day when we were at the graveyard then my father was the one who was supposed to give the final word then my father said that our neighbor that old lady 
was the one who had bewitched his son, was responsible for his son's death. Then the village headman said to my father, if you do not have any, any evidence, do not accuse this woman of witchcraft, otherwise she is going to get you arrested because the law says that you cannot say that someone is a witch because it cannot be proved in court whether someone is a witch or not. We then returned back to our homestead. Everyone was just following behind. That old lady, Brother Nashi, she started insulting my father. Finally, when we were in our compound, they kept on insulting each other. They were even using terrible words and there were children all over the place and they were laughing these kids. Then the village headman said to my father and our neighbor, if you two are lovers, because I can see that the way that you are fighting, it seems as if you are taking each other into your beds. We are going to remove this wire so that they can be a single compound so that we can know that from now on you are husband and wife that old lady said let me tell you everything that happened this man the first time that he entered into this village i told him that he had a spirit that was following him his relatives there in zaka when they knew that he didn't want to stay in his homestead where he grew up there in zaka they sent one of their tokoloshis the cattle was sold by his elder brother and they placed the tokoloshis on that money. By the time that he was given the money, when he was handed over the money by his brother, then those tokoloshis climbed on his back. He was supposed to die on his way going back to Harare. He was supposed to be involved in an accident and he was supposed to die. When I met this man, he was standing here with you. At that time, she was pointing at the village headman did i not approach him and i told him that i had something that i wanted to tell him when he came to my homestead i then told him to return back to his people because i didn't want any business with him but he kept on giving me pressure until i told him that he was supposed to die on that same day he then said what can i do my family is still young if i die what is going to happen to my kids that was when i said your relatives back there in Zaka, they are too powerful. The only way that you can survive, you have to become a witch. I am going to speak with some of the witches so that we can include you in our club. But know that in our club, if you join us, you are going to get some human flesh. But there will come a time that we will require you to sacrifice your own kids. And he agreed because he wanted to live. He didn't want to die. As our neighbor was telling us this story, my father, he just went into his bedroom and he locked himself up in his bedroom. Brother Nashi, since that day, the village headman told our father that he was supposed to go with us to a traditional healer. My father has since refused. He only cries and he says that he was accused of witchcraft and he is not a witch, but he is the one who started accusing that witch. And our neighbor, she lost her own son. And she was saying that when she lost her own son, it was her duty to sacrifice one of her own. And she was the one who cut up her own son into several pieces and divided this flesh amongst the club members. She even said that she would walk around late at night physically when she was holding this winnowing basket that had the human flesh that belonged to her son as she was handing out this flesh to her friends including my father and she was angry she was saying that now that it is your duty for your offspring to die you think that they are more special than my own son did i not cry on the night when i was told that it is my turn it is now my calendar to lose my offspring. When I was crying, did you come to console me? So why are you accusing me of witchcraft when you are also a witch? So Brother Nashi, that is what is happening right now. As for now, I just want someone who can help me so that I can do a go back to send. All my life I have been wondering as to why my wife cannot conceive yet my father is the one i was told that my father he took my testicles 
and he went into the forest and he tied my testicles on this other tree. That is why I can't conceive. Dear listeners, right there was a message that I received and I had to give you this translation. Such a sad story.